Dressing well is much easier than, uh, you know, generally represented. You just have to learn, unlike fashion, which is elusive, fashion is something you chase to a certain degree, you try to keep up with because it changes. But what you look good in is dictated by what fits you properly, what flatters your body, and what colors uh, enrich your complexion. And once you learn those things, you're a long way down the road to learning how to dress well. They spent close to $50,000 on Michael Douglas's wardrobe, and they realized his wardrobe was gonna be a very important player, you know, in, in the overall look of the movie. They wanted to have elegant fuck you clothes. You know, that was the character, and we make those kinds of clothes. Uh, he also has very sloped shoulders. So we actually put shoulder pads underneath the dress shirts so that when he took his jacket off and he was wearing suspenders, you know, it looked like he had a shoulder line. That was one of the main, one of the big things that we did, had to do to kind of reproportion it. Michael Douglas, who looks unbelievable in Wall Street, has absolutely no personal taste whatsoever. You'll never see Michael Douglas dress well in a, you know, in a private situation. If somebody asks me today to point out someone who I think, you know, has a kind of personal style that, you know, someone should look at or, or be informed by in Hollywood, I can't, I can't even point to one. I just think about, oh my God, if he actually knew how to dress, it would be unbelievable because he's so good looking and he has such a great, you know, uh, charisma. And yes, is he, tr I mean, but it's not Brad Pitt. It's the person who's choosing his clothes. If you have somebody choosing your clothes, how well dressed can you be? The most important suit I ever saw was the first suit I had made in London on Savile Row in 1974 uh, by uh, Anderson and Shepard. It's double-breasted, soft and full and shaped in a way, in, in those days people were wearing very fitted cardan type clothing and this was completely the opposite. This was loose and soft and like sportswear. And I've always made clothes like that and worn clothes like that ever since. The fashion industry always wants to know why aren't men more interested in men's fashion? Why don't they pay more attention to it? Well, if you parade clothes like Tom Brown's in front of people who can afford three, four, five thousand dollars to buy clothes, they're going to just scratch their head and say, are these people insane? Those clothes are distraction from teaching people how to dress well. When you propose those as actual clothes to wear, you've, you've lost the credibility of anybody who's, you know, a thinking person. We've built our custom business based on the fact that people can wear the clothes for 10 or 20 years, and we've now been open for 23 years, so we have, you know, enough uh, history to be able to point us and say, yes, we, we make clothes that transcend fashion.